Hey guys, it's Outstanding Ramen, and today I'm just gonna do some random stuff really, and I'm gonna show you how to make an origami boomerang. So, for this you're only gonna need half of a piece of paper. You can use really any kind of paper, but I just like using this because it looks nice, so just... You, you really don't need a scissors, so you can just turn it in half, then just flatten it out, then just put your nail right along it, make it really, really tight creases. Then you can just look at it really, it's kind of gross, but just look at the crease of it, and it makes it a little wet. Then you can just flip it over, do it on the other side too. It really, really, really <clears throat> good. Okay, so now see, look at this. It just tears nice and easy like this. Doesn't take much effort either. Okay, so you can set this off to the side. And then, so, let's start. So, start off with folding it in half, just like that. And then, you go like this. Then see the crease there? Then you fold this side into the crease. Just a little bit. Just give it a little bit of room right in between it. And then just do the same exact on the other side. It's kind of tricky, but you can get it. So then just put your fingernail right onto it. Make it really good creases. You want to make it really good. Maybe a little messy on the first try, but you'll get it. Okay, so now you got this. Then you just fold this in half. Make sure it's really good. Get your fingernail onto it. Do this. So now this part's a little bit tricky, but. Easy to learn. So, see how there's like, this crease right here? Then you just fold the corners like this. Then you do the same exact thing, you just, except you just flip it over. Put your fingernail on it. Then you open it up again like this and just push it right in. So now it should look like this. And then you just do the same exact thing on the other side. Just like this. So now you have something that looks like this. Now what you do, this is the most hardest part of all. You open it up. You take one side, you flip it open, you flip it around, then you take this part, fold it outwards like this, just on this side of the paper, just like this, and even this too, right here, just like that. Then you open it up, and it's like this. You see this? You go like this, you open it up like this, and see how it clumps right there, sort of? That's good. Now you just fold it in right there. Okay, so we have the crease just like this. Now what you want to do is you shut this and you just fold it over like this sort of. And see, like just like that. Then we just fold this over 
And then you tr you put this into this little crease right here. This is pretty tricky too. Just like this. And it kind of just folds right into it. Mine isn't very neat, but just like that. So it has the origami sort of shape. But this isn't it yet. What you do now is you take one of the ends and you you fold just like we did before, just like this triangular sort of shape like this. And then do this. And you fold it on the other side too. Like this. like this. And you just fold it in and you just tuck it right into the little pocket in here and then it makes it a little bit pointy like that sort of. Just like that. Now you do the other end and you may notice that this one's just one thing and one piece of paper thick and this is three. But that's normal, don't worry about that. Um, so, just do the same exact thing, really. Just like before. Hold it in. Like this. You don't really, don't really need to fold it like that, really. Just push it right in. Okay, so, just do your finger creases. So now, you like this, you can color any color you want. So you still have another half a sheet of paper left. Just like this, like you can make two of them out of one piece of paper. So you can color them, you can do anything really with them. And now, let's try them out. Okay, so before you do anything trying to work this thing out, what really helps a lot is to get some tape and just see how there's this little thing there's this open crack just seal them with the tape it really helps a lot so it won't catch any air or anything like that it goes a little bit more smoother so let's just tape them around I'm a little bad at taking but So do it everywhere where there's a little bit of paper open. Just like this. One more second. Kind of tricky to get it right there. Okay, so we got it all taped up. Set this to the side. You may not be able to see me very well, but what you do is you hold it just like this. You put your finger like this, and you do it. You just flick your wrist. Try to aim upwards like this. It'll go like this. Come back. It takes a lot of practice, so I'll just try it. Pretty tricky. Even I have troubles with it. You ready? Oh, 
little scatter that time. You just flick your wrist kind of up. Real trick. I just hit the fan. <laughs> you gotta use a lot of power right on your wrist like this. You You'll fail as hard as I am right now. It takes a lot of practice. Don't give up though. You'll get it eventually. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment. Especially comment. I like when people comment. And yeah.